What up everybody again, it's T-Biz here, and yeah, I've got some new stuff for you today. I've got the Battle Tribes Wave 16 bundle, just, just the bundle. I wanted to get the, um, they had another all-in bundle, but, and it would have included um, two versions of this guy, or like just an extra version of him or whatever. I mean, the same version, but extra, the double. And uh, yeah, it would have been really cool, but they sold out super fast. It's the thing about uh, the Glios community and collecting Glios stuff, or Glios related stuff. And this is from, uh, actually, by Spy Monkey Creations. Limited run. Huh? But yeah, this is Battle Tribes Wave 16. And yeah, we're going to take a look at all these. And um, I'm losing my train of thought. But yeah. Oh, well, my point was that this stuff, like, a lot of these sell out really quick. Like, spaced out designs, their figures, just go, like, really fast. And I think... Oh man, there's yeah. Some of this stuff sells out really fast. Some of it doesn't. I think um, like like Zul Beasts and Battle Tribes and Warlords of War and uh, God Beast and um, Galaxor and O'Neill Design and um, well, not always O'Neill Design and like um, and Nemo's Factory. There's just too many to name. Too many to name. And um, oh, the Rise of the Beast. There's oh, there's just oh my God. There's so many. I, it's drive me nuts. But uh, some sell out, some don't. So you can go on a lot of the sites that I recommend, or if you just go through all my... I need to just make a playlist of all my Glass videos, and um, or glass related stuff. And uh, a lot of times they don't always sell out of stuff. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just one or two figures they sell out of. Sometimes it's, they, you know, it's out of stuff on stock, you know, for a while, pretty, you know, pretty much. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out Wave 16. I already have the Chicken Beast put together which comes in a bag like so and this is basically the Biomaster monster that we've seen from uh, Biomasters and we've also seen from uh, the God Beast so yeah and I don't know if O'Neill Designs like put out their uh, their little copy of it either they might have but uh, yeah it comes with extra stuff as always I just wanted to put this together as the Chicken Beast as advertised so yeah so there you go Oop on it but there you go that's pretty cool I like I like this like, little build this little version it's funny it's funky it's weird and it does kind of look like a weird space chicken but comes with the extra stuff you get the wings the cool bat wings or demon wings or whatever and this is like a total pink Pepto-Bismol version of this so yeah and then you got an extra claw extra crabby claw and an extra chicken claw extra switch pin and you get a extra eyeball thingy or whatever it is some kind of weird orifice or something and then another mouth a cringy fang mouth so yeah you get those and this is how it comes unassembled so yeah just gotta put the whole thing together and that's how that comes so yeah just wanted to do that for an example. Didn't want to help. go ahead and just do that in the video or whatever. Just save some time. And um, first up, as far as the Warriors go, we have the Axe Adventure. We've seen a lot of versions of this guy, but this is a cool different colorway, which I like a lot. He's not so much like your pasty Thundar looking guy. He's got like almost kind of a tan, I would say. I don't know. I, th I think he's a little bit different. I don't... I'd have to look through my... um bag of stuff or am I but yeah it looks like oh wow he's got like a um a silver paint app application right there so that's interesting so you could sport him without the his little furry beast man thing and I think the first version I got of him a long time ago was like the regular like Conan looking version with the black hair and stuff but he had like a white uh, a lighter not a whiter skin tone but a lighter it comes with a sick gold sword awesome I like this sword looks a little different oh, I can't tell if it's different or the same I'd have to go through all my stuff I really would and it is in here somewhere it actually might be in the living room as I was showing my buddy chef Dan all the stuff I've been picking up lately that's glass related you get the triceraton head you get the the, the it reminds me of um like a Frank Frazetta type head, wolf guy or whatever. Whoop, you get that head. 
And what else do you get? And this is pretty much standard stuff. Most of these figures for the last year or so have come, and maybe even two years, have come with all these same heads and stuff. So yeah, you get all that same stuff. Here's this guy. Here's the uh, site or the demon dude. Or he's kind of like a like orc, maybe like a orc or goblin. And then you got the cyclops. A Mohawk Cyclops, and then you've got a let's see your standard little whatever wussy sword. You've got an axe and a mace or morning star, and your shield. So yeah, it's a little scuffed though, but yeah, it's all right. It's, it's been battle worn, but uh, this sword's cool. I wonder if this that looks new to me for some reason. It really does. I could just be goofing, but I think it's a new sword. It looks new to me. I wish I had my stuff on me right now, but it's in the other room. I don't know. So, being lazy, I'm not going to go get it up, but um, get it out. But yeah, this looks like a totally new sword, so it's pretty sick. Not bad at all. And you can hear that AC pumping, I think, in the house because it is hot here. It's been like, like 116 degrees here in Austin, Texas on some days. It's been really, really hot. And then we've got the Thunder Berserker. Which this guy's cool. It's like a total Lord of the Rings D and D type barbarian looking dude, very Nordic with his uh, beard. He's got his green shorts on this version. Brown boots. I, don't know, I like him. He's cool. Well, that's a good figure. Good figure, and he comes with a lot of different stuff. You've got the little armadillo or like dinosaur looking shield thing which is pretty beefy shield if you ask me and these are all still available right now on their website and then you get a trident which I like that they put this little straw thing in there to keep it from bending and stuff or warping it's got like a little Cthulhu on there so it's pretty cool and then you get like a, it reminds me of Necrogoblicon the band but yeah you got the little goblin head Another bearded guy with a mohawk, very hip. You get a, another belt. Some weird kind of dino looking head. And then you get a golden axe, like the video game golden axe. Yeah, cool golden axe. Which I wonder, oh no, I gotta, I gotta look through all my stuff. Get this cool blunt hammer thing. I like this hammer. This thing's cool looking. I like that. That's cool. For mining or something. Then you get your little, um, I forget, it's kind of like a ninja weapon. I forget what you call these, but yeah. Somebody will let me know. You get the cool, uh, knife of the month. Oop. Makes you think of those old shows you used to see on the cable, on the access channel or the cable or whatever, late at night with the guys selling knives, two redneck guys. And you get switch pin, so... Got all that stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Whew. This video is gonna take forever to upload. Oh, yeah. So much stuff though that you get. This guy's really cool. This is the grid battler. He's just a wrestler basically. From their little wrestler line that they put out. And uh, he comes with a slew of stuff. So here's the grid. Battler. He's pretty much got like a Tron theme going. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Manhattan from The Watchmen and Tron, pretty much. Let's get him some light going. Yeah. Because these guys glow, which is cool. And it sucks that I missed out on the first all in bundle because I could have got double to him. And then it sucks because uh, God Beast put out a whole uh, wave of glow in the dark, or two glow in the dark figures, I think, the Kabuto Mushi. You get the donut guy head. And I missed out on that. Grid Battler Wrestler Belt, which glows. All these glow. French Fry Head. Orange Head. All little food heads. Apple Head with a chunk taken out. Get the little mini dude. A mini body. Ice Cream Cone Head. Grid Burger. <laughs> And an extra boot, which I don't know why, just one extra boot. That's weird. And then 
wrestler like a lucha head and then extra pair of fur panties so yeah but let's go ahead and uh watch this guy glow real quick because this thing is cool let me close this door real quick and uh well actually it's kind of hard to see but yeah they do glow but we try this again let's get a little bit more light in there with these because it's kind of hard to see but yeah this is sick so because I like this this kind of glow. It's not like your standard... Yeah, see, it's not like your standard green glow. It's more of like a blue glow, which is really cool. It's really awesome. I love the way that looks. You can kind of see in the background all the other parts. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. This is an awesome wave. I hope that the rest of the Glyos... Uh, friends of Glyos people or all the different companies like I like to see a, a Zul Beast come out with that kind of glow that would be cool or just yeah I'd like to see some more of this stuff and I'd like to see um God Beast put out some uh more Mushis that glow again too so I could pick some up because I've totally missed out on that but yeah this is a look at Wave 16 not bad oops sorry about that pretty neat and pretty cool and once again thanks for everybody for watching and tuning in and checking it out uh shout outs to Big Abdul 2k14 and Rider Origin, I will work on that video that you asked me to about the Outer Spaceman. We'll do that as soon as I can. Um, and Hobbyman Productions, thanks for tuning in, y'all. And, yeah, more Glyo stuff definitely on the way. And, um, yeah, you can still pick these up. So if you want to get them, I'll leave the link um, in the description for you to go to check it out. And, uh, yeah, they're not too badly priced. Uh, once again, thanks, y'all, and uh, have a good one. Later.